Fantastic stuff. Now, the Killing Ridge on the Isle of Skye is considered to be the hardest mountaineering challenge in the UK. But just a couple of weeks ago, one young climber's peak performance smashed the record, knocking more than an hour and a quarter off the previous time. Ushin Hawthorne joins us now. That is just incredible. And you seem so casual about it. It's, it's amazing. How did you feel when you broke the record? Uh, well, I was just finished. So I was pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Well made, yeah. 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 <laughs> did it sink in afterwards, though? You, you realised um, that it had yeah. been a bit of a record-breaking run? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. But I also, like, it was three hours faster than I did it t- two years before, so myself. So, <laughs> so it's like I was feeling really pleased more about it. Yeah being so much fitter myself than, than breaking somebody else's record. Fair enough. What, were the, what were the conditions like to, to run it? What was um, the whole experience like? Really good. I mean, can see some of it now. Yeah, lots of snow. Yeah, lots of snow. Yeah, it's like hard packed snow and it's really really good and, and you get to just like run along it really fast and along the ridge. It feels it feels really cool. It feels like amazing. You know? It feels really cool. It yeah. looks really it's cool. Gorgeous. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. That looks also, as much as it looks cool, that looks Terrifying. Yeah. Like, does that? That is dangerous. How do you know? Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, it's like, it's like, <laughs> but it's like if you're good, if you're used to it, it's like driving a car for the first time. It feels really dangerous. But that for me, I've done it loads and loads. So, uh-huh. so like, you just get you get better at it. And you're like the money. coolest <laughs> customer I think I've ever met. I could watch that constantly. I know, that it's, is, it's just mind blowing. Um, so, how did you manage to shave three hours <laughs> off? How how do you train to reduce okay. three hours? Um, I was just much fitter. Um, I've been I've been in Tasmania for a few months before and I've done lots of running, like just really long, long, long endurance running, and, and I'm a bit better technically, and the conditions were really good, so it's a bit easier. And I really like kit this time. I took way lighter stuff, like a really, really thin rope and, Fantastic. and sort of stuff like that. Is it something you always kind of wanted to do, planned to do, or is it something that's just kind of part of your lifestyle now? Is something you enjoy doing? Um, yeah, it's just something to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, just just go and. So have you got like lots of other runs and ridges? Because this is obviously one of the toughest out there. What's next for you? Do you just keep mountaineering? Yeah. Do you just keep enjoying it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to Alaska next week, actually, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> um, I'm going to try and climb and unclimb North Face on Mount Jezebel with my friend Tom. So, yeah, it should, should be good fun. <laughs> I actually did. We sit in a sofa yeah. for <laughs> conquering mountains all around so, the world. And how long are you expected to complete that and um, so we'll go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go for a month and hopefully the weather will let us, let us quit, go climbing. But sometimes you might just sit in a tent, like yeah. sitting on the top sofa, but not as nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be there in the tent. Just yeah. You are absolutely good. Well, you need to come yeah, in and update us how you got on. Thank you so much for yeah, speaking to us. Great to meet you. Now, we're on the top of the world to beneath 